the parenthood videos that just came out um, involve, uh, or at least potentially involve, clinics in Texas. There's right. been some film of uh, Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast, which operates in both Texas and uh, Louisiana. And um, first off, let me just get your reaction to the videos themselves, and then tell us what's going on in Texas in regards to this. Well, the, the videos show the disgusting practices uh, that Planned Parenthood has been conducting all along. Uh, and it is uh, unveiled for all of Americans. Uh, the horrific, barbaric way in which Planned Parenthood conducts its practices. You know, they, they claim that they exist for the purpose of helping women's health care. Now they're being revealed for who they really are, uh, and that is butchering mm. uh, tens or hundreds of thousands of children. Now, part of this uh, does appear to involve uh, Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast. Uh, it's important to understand the history uh, of this particular entity. When I was Attorney General before I became Governor, uh, I sued that very Planned Parenthood group because uh, they were guilty of Medicaid fraud. And they paid money, over a million dollars, mm. to settle a Medicaid fraud claim. Uh, now we're saying that they may be involved in one of these horrific practices. Did they selling have, body parts. Did they have the same sort of initial reaction when the Medicaid fraud uh, first came to light that nothing was going, nothing oh. was wrong, and that this was uh, th there was nothing illegal about what they were doing? I mean, this is sort of a familiar refrain, right, Governor? See, n nothing to see here. Move along. Yes. Uh, which has been the same attitude of Planned Parenthood, and most disturbingly, the same attitude that we see from the White House uh, and the spokesperson uh, for the White House. Were you shocked to hear Josh Ernest say, well, we haven't watched the videos, but Planned Parenthood tells us they've done nothing wrong and we trust them? <laughs> well, uh, you know, there's a point in time when nothing shocks you coming from the White House anymore. I can't tell if I'm watching the White House or watching MSNBC. Well, there you go. I think that that might not be a, a, a distinction that uh, too many people can make these days. So what's next in... Um, in Texas for uh, PPGC. Uh, obviously, uh, Governor Jindal, who uh, I'm sure you've been working with uh, on this issue, he's, he's uh, conducting an investigation. I believe that uh, your Attorney General has said that there's going to be an investigation. Well, here's what we have done. Here's what we are going to do. For one, uh, even before this uh, revelation occurred, uh, Texas had already defunded Planned Parenthood in, uh, uh, in Texas. Now what we're doing, two days ago, uh, Texas launched a criminal investigation uh, into the practices of Planned Parenthood, uh, which could be a fatal blow uh, for Planned Parenthood in Texas. Uh, and remember also uh, that we passed what is known as House Bill 2, uh, which uh, provided strict limits and high standards uh, for Planned Parenthood providers in the state of Texas. Uh, and in the aftermath of that, and in our victories uh, in the courthouse because of that, uh, Planned Parenthood, uh, its, its uh, footprint in Texas uh, had been diminished quite a bit. And so we, we may be seeing the last vestiges of Planned Parenthood in Texas if these accusations prove to be true. Now, you say you defunded Planned Parenthood. This is... Um is that Medicaid funding, or is that? Or is that uh, Here, here's what happened. In fact, our, our, our defunding of Planned Parenthood was so profound, uh, uh, the federal Medicaid system, federal health and human services, uh, said that they uh, were no longer going to be putting in uh, their percentage for the women's health care program funding uh, through Medicaid in the state of Texas. So Texas said, fine, we're going to provide it ourselves. And now, coming out of our own Texas dollars, we're providing more money for women's health care without funding abortion clinics in Texas. That's amazing. Let me uh, move on to another subject. Uh